Hi, I'm Carol Heiser. Welcome to my home, and this is my frog pond. I'm the Habitat Education Coordinator at the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries, and my job is to teach people how to improve habitat on their property and also to inspire them to do more for wildlife in their landscape. A frog pond is such a simple amenity that basically mimics aquatic habitats in nature. For example, wetlands. A wetland is an area in nature where you might have some standing water during most or part of the year. Um, a vernal pool, which is a temporary small pond of water where amphibians like frogs and salamanders will breed. Or a riparian buffer, where you might have little hummocks and pools of water next to a stream. Frog ponds are a lot of fun. I love having mine here, and it's very simple to put one in your landscape. This one is just a, an easy to find liner. You can get it at a box store. Uh, it looks like a little bathtub, basically, and it has some uh, shelves in it where you can put your plants, and it's fairly low maintenance. I only clean it out maybe every two or three years, and I don't even have a, a pump in mine because I let the insects that come in here provide the predation on, it, on each other, so there's a food web going on there, and they're, they're taking care of each other. Well, now that you've seen my little frog pond, we're gonna go take a look at one at my friend's house, Lou Werner. His pond is much larger and was made with a flexible liner. Carol. Hey, Lou. Good it's to, good see, to you. see you. Welcome to King and Queen County and oh, my habitat. Thank you, I'm so glad to be here. Yes. Fabulous pond, I know I, I, know I was in for a treat today. Yes, well, thank you for coming. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about this. Uh, I built it in 2011. Mm -hmm. As a watchable wildlife biologist with the agency, I understood the importance of having habitat for amphibians. Right. Amphibians are one of our most endangered groups. Uh, about 40% are on our watch list. And the critical thing for them is breeding habitat, which is water. Mm -hmm. They have to breed in water. So I created this frog pond specifically to help the local amphibians. And to date, I've had about 12 or 13 species breed here, wow. including the uh, red-spotted newt, which is a salamander. So this is habitat for all amphibians in the local area. Main thing that I'd like to point out is that when you create a frog pond, it's not just putting a hole in the ground and putting water in it. You want to create habitat that mimics what you would see in a natural area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So as you can see, I've surrounded my pond with plants that are native to the area as well as native plants inside the pond itself that are all in pots. Mm -hmm. So Lou, what's the best way to get started? Well, it depends on the uh, resources that a homeowner might have, but uh, very simply, if you go to any big box hardware store these days, you will find that they sell these hard plastic ponds that you can simply drop in. Now the main thing to look for though is that not all of them have shelves that will provide a space to put your native plant aquatic plants on, mm -hmm. and also a, sh a more shallow area for the frogs. Mm -hmm. Number two, if you want to be more creative and you have a little bit more in the way of resources, um, and what I did here was to buy a pond liner, and that allows you to create any shape you want and any size you want that fits in with uh, your own backyard. You've got such a variety of plants here. Can you show us some of the native species that uh, work really well? Yeah, and I think, again, for the homeowner, uh, you can find these at many uh, stores in the area that do have aquatic plants for sale, but be careful, not all of them are native. Mm -hmm. Again, we don't want to introduce any non-natives into this habitat. But some of the ones you can find almost anywhere are the pickerel weed, which you can see with this gorgeous purple flower here, which, again, is a great nectar source for a lot of butterflies. Mm -hmm. Um, it's nice to have pond lilies, and this is the native pond lily, and you can actually see a frog poking its head up uh, amongst the lilies there. You'll actually see them sitting on the pads, <laughs> but the water lilies are just gorgeous, and I think that's another easy one for people to add to their habitat. The pitcher plant is another wetland plant that a homeowner might like to add to their frog habitat. Uh, it's unusual in that it actually uh, attracts insects uh, into its uh, pitcher and actually consumes them. So it's a carnivorous plant uh, that is native to this part of Virginia. The uh, native uh, horsetail, Equisetum is the genus, and that's a very interesting plant that goes all the way back to the dinosaurs. So that's kind of an interesting element to add into the pond habitat, and it does provide a good perching site for a lot of our dragonflies. Mm -hmm. Spiderwort is a plant that you'll uh, probably be able to find quite easily in uh, any native plant uh, garden center and uh, it is a plant that likes wet soil so it's a good one to plant around the edges of your pond. 
Mm -hmm. And irises are a great addition to your pond. Again, these are all natives providing habitat and uh, nectar resources for our butterflies and other insects. Mm -hmm. And remember, when you're building a frog pond, make sure that you have plants growing around it so it's not just water in the middle of a grass mm -hmm. uh, lawn. When you have your pond completed, don't think that you have to go out and buy any of the amphibians. They will come. Uh, I had eggs in my pond one week after I built it, thousands of eggs. Wow. And I've had 13 species breed here over the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice that this is a pond that has moving water. Moving water can be accomplished either with a small pump or you can get uh, some kind of an aerator or a spitting frog, for instance, or something that's going to keep that water in motion. Mosquitoes tend not to lay their eggs in moving water. So that's an addition you can make that will help solve that issue. Without habitat, there can be no wildlife. It's that simple. You can make a difference. Find out more on our website to get details about how to put a frog pond and create frog habitat on your property. Thank you.